like they've gotten a lot better and you know we got some new guys in there now you know we got a real athletic line and they can move and you know last uh, three or four practices we've had in pads uh, inside inside um, zones and I mean the team inside we've been doing it's been looking real good it's been looking better than ever and we got a great old line. Uh, Stephen, because of what's happening with you off the field, um, I think the, the public perception and maybe the media perception is that you have a problem with alcohol. Um, so just, just to put it on the record, do you have a problem with alcohol? Have you had a problem? And if so, uh, is it something that you um, seek assistance for? I'm negative. No. Oh, Chris, go ahead. Alshon, there's a lot of big time receivers in college as well as the NFL who really embrace the media coverage, the limelight. Yet sometimes you kind of seem like you don't really care for it. You'd rather just kind of do your thing and just that be that. Is that an accurate assessment? I mean, I don't really worry about what the media got to do. I just worry about my team and just focusing on whatever we got to take care of business. Because, I mean, that's our job. Because it hypes someone up. Uh, yeah, I'm talking to last year. I mean, that's, that's on y'all. I just worry about my teammates and just stay focused on our goal. Stephen, over the course of your USC career, up here in the back, have you grown more as a football player or as a person? Uh, I would say all the above, really. Uh, you know, I've learned a lot since I've been here. Um, you know, coming in here, I didn't think it was going to be this uh, kind of a fishbowl, as you could say. Um, you know, I learned the hard way, which uh, I tend to do over the course of my life. But, uh, you know, I guess I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, it's made me who I am today. And, you know, there's, you only live once. So I feel like I've learned a lot since I've been here. And, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, continue to go uh, the rest of my life. Uh, Marcus, Stephen, and Alshon, and who spent the for your uh, basketball days. Uh, how good is it to feel like you don't have to be the only playmaker on the team, that you've got other guys that uh, you know can pick you up uh, in different situations? I mean, to me it feels good because, I mean, if I was the offensive coordinator, I'd probably get ball to Marcus every play. So, I mean, it's, it feels good to me, so I mean, uh, whatever the coaches call, so I mean, it's a good feeling, but I mean, at the same time, even if it's not Marcus, Steven, or me, someone else must step up. We got to make plays. So, I mean, just because we, we may be the main guys, but someone on the team has to step up because the old line don't get a lot of credit, as we do. You know, same kind of thing Alshon said. And, well, you know, we're a balanced offense. You know, we, we got Alshon. We got a lot of tall receivers, those quick receivers. I mean, we keep the defense on our toes, on their toes. And, I mean, it's just, it's just hard to stop. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Just like these guys said, we got a lot of options, you know, we can go to anybody. And that's great for a team because, you know, like Marcus said, keep the defense on their toes and hopefully we can win, keep winning. Yep. Good time for two more. Steven, talk about uh, in this offense how important it is to have big guys like Alshon on the outside, but then also have some of those guys with small receivers that move for a lot of space. Oh, I mean, just like they were saying, you know, it keeps the defense on their, uh, you know, on their toes. and. You know, make sure they're aware of, you know, all the possibilities that we have of, you know, uh, getting through the defense and, uh, you know, hitting these guys on a little slant. You know, they can break a tackle and they're gone, you know, 80 yards. Uh, you know, when there's a big third down, you just throw a little fade out to Alshon, you know, catches it in first down to keep the chains moving. Uh, you can hand the ball off to Lattimore and he'll run 95 yards for a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> or five yards for a first down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's the best offense you know I've had since I've been here. Uh, you know I think the team would say that, and you know the offensive line has been working so hard during the off season. You know it was, it was awesome to see him you know out here during the summer workouts. You know thankfully I was out here, and uh, you know it was, it's I think we got a you know special team here. Steven, when when you weren't with the team, what were you doing to stay in shape, and did you throw it all? Uh, I mean, I wasn't throwing a whole lot. I was probably throwing the baseball more than anything, just trying to take some frustration out. Uh, but then just going to the strong and playing basketball, just trying to stay in some court, some sort of shape. Uh, yeah, that's about it. All right. We got about uh, 30.